Hello, today is day 67 on board and I'm now over halfway and it's only another 59 days until I can have a pint. Unfortunately the halfway mark coincided with travelling east over the international dateline, so it was halfway for two days in a row, which was a major kick in the balls. We are currently in mid-Pacific, we're about a thousand miles northeast of the Hawaii Islands. It's been about 10 days since we've seen any evidence that we are not the only people on this planet. From South Korea to the east coast of America, there's a 15 hour time difference, which we've had to make up. So the clocks have been going forward on board an hour every two days, which has been pretty draining. So between that and having to do an eight day working week, that's probably the reason why I'm starting to look like shit. But I did get to push the ship's horn, so that made up for it a little bit. Liquor, liquor, liquor. The weather out here has been pretty rough over the past few days, so the ship's been constantly rolling, which has made things pretty interesting. Stuart, oh. how you doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the sound of the last of Stuart's enthusiasm leaving his body. Last week we went ashore in South Korea, which was quite fun. We found Wi-Fi and then proceeded not to speak to each other for about two hours while we updated ourselves with what was going on in the world. There was a shop though, which obviously sold copious amounts of noodles and peanut butter squid, which I had to buy because I like peanut butter and I like squid, so surely it's a winning combination. I've just opened it. It doesn't uh, smell the most delightful. And I found this silica gel which is what you get in a shoe box when you buy new shoes, which is concerning. Ooh, it's quite rubbery. Rubbery. <laughs> it tastes like fishy peanut butter. That is 100% not a winning combination. When we were in port in South Korea, an external contractor came on board and overhauled all three of the turbochargers which supply air into the main engine, which saved us a lot of work. So that was quite nice. This week, we started cleaning the ship top to bottom, which is a pretty monotonous task. It needs to look nice and shiny for the American Coast Guard and we need to make sure there is no oil anywhere on board where it shouldn't be. Otherwise the ship gets fined and could get turned away from American waters. I've also spent some time up on the bridge this week learning about what goes on up top and admiring the view, which has been pretty interesting because down below in the windowless engine room you wouldn't even know you were at sea half the time. I was up on the bridge for the night watch and we had a play about with the night vision goggles, which was nowhere near as fun as I expected it to be, which was a major disappointment for the eight-year-old inside me. Anyway, on that bombshell, it's dinner time. So until next time, ciao.